Hey everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm a Teen Services Assistant at the Headquarters location of the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. Thank you for joining us for our teen program today, Mini Masterpieces. Today we'll be going over some techniques used in acrylic painting, take a look at what's included in this program's Pick Me Up kit, and I'll show off some of my own example Mini Masterpieces. For today's program, there is a Pick Me Up available that includes everything you need to make your own set of Mini Masterpieces. Kits are available on a first-come, first-served basis, so see the description below to learn how to request this free pick-me-up. Each pick-me-up includes three canvases, three paint brushes, one small round brush, one medium flat brush, and one random size brush. One set of paint pots, all of them have a white, a black, and a brown color, plus three random other colors. Two sheets of paper you can use to practice techniques one stencil, one palette spatula, and one sponge. Dry brush is when you take a dry brush with paint on it to lay down strokes. And different brushes and how hard you press down with the bristles will give different effects. Wet on wet is a technique that's usually used in watercolor. So for acrylic paint, you would just dip your paint brush into water, lay it on your surface, and then with a little bit of acrylic paint on the brush, go over the water to give it a watercolor-like effect. For stenciling, you just take your stencil and make sure it's really steady against your surface. Some people like to tape down the stencil. Um, I am just holding it steady here and you'll take your acrylic paint on your brush and tap it into the stencil parts that you would like to have shown. You can also take other colors and blend them into each other as you are stenciling on your design, which is what I am doing here, adding in some whites and darker greens and a little bit of black. aren't careful while you're holding your stencil down, you'll have little spots in between the lines, which is what I have here. Sgraffito is a technique where you first have a dry layer of paint, like the black paint here, then paint a wet layer on top of it, and while the paint is still wet, you scratch into the paint to add textures, which is what I'm using the palette spatula here for. You can also use the end of your brush and other stuff for this. Impasto is a technique where you use a palette spatula to layer on, scratch, and add thick textured paint to your surface. You can also let the layers dry and keep building up more paint to make some really thick textures on your surface. A sponge is another really useful tool to help make fun textures. I really like using the sponge to make a lot of fun space backgrounds because they make for really good clouds. For glazing, you start with dry paint, then you take watered down acrylic paint on your brush to apply a wash of color on top of the dry paint. I love doing drips and splatters, these are both very fun techniques to use. For drips, you'll just need to take watered down paint and drop it onto your surface and then sort of tilt your surface to have them trail down. And for splatters, you can flick your finger with the brush to aim splatters on your surface. And you can try different types of brushes. Um, there are certain brushes that kind of work best for this and they have different splatter techniques. Um, just try out a couple different brushes to see which ones you like.
So there's a few acrylic techniques to get you started on your own mini masterpieces. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram or Facebook at, at SCPL Teens for library news for teens, including all of our upcoming virtual programs, opportunities to request more free stuff, and more. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you liked our video. Thank you.